Wealth has nothing to do with gender, you just need the right appearance. Welcome to Jean Bodhi's Physiognomy. Today, I will talk about appearances that attract wealth easily. 1. A full and tall forehead. The forehead is full and broad. It's a symbol of wisdom that people use to earn their wealth. The ability to think critically differentiates us from animals. What happens if our skull, especially the part above our eyes, is flat? What if it's short and narrow? It means our brain has less room, right? The skull of a primate is flatter compared to a human, especially the forehead part, it's like a slope going downward. Compared to a chimp, a normal human has a more bulgy forehead. It's like an inflated balloon. It swells out. It's a symbol of wisdom and intelligence. Ancient Chinese philosophers looked at the forehead. To judge if one is able to inherit their ancestors' inheritance. The middle part, from the eyebrows to the tip of the nose, determines one's own fate. Lastly, the part from the tip of the nose to the chin, determines the fate of one's children. A good appearance blesses all. Generally speaking, if one has a fate of wealth, they have a broad and full forehead. They can benefit from their ancestors' wealth and merits. I've noticed that most famous and successful figures, from scientists and entrepreneurs to politicians and business powerhouses, all have a broad and full forehead. No wonder they're capable wise, smart, and wealthy. All right, let's keep going. 2. A pair of bright eyes. In physiognomy, eyes play an important role in face reading. People with bright eyes always have better luck. In fact, our eyes hold at least 50% of our overall luck. Your eyes determine if you can get a good partner, a good job, business opportunities, a promotion, a good friend, a good house, a chance to get rich, etc. A pair of bright eyes symbolizes good blessings and wisdom. With eyes like that, you'll stay wealthy for the rest of your life. Now, when it comes to wealth, this is the most significant part. 3. Full and plump eyelids. Sounds lame, right? In Chinese physiognomy, that's where your wealth reflect the most. People with such eyelids are always well blessed. They've done lots of good deeds in the past and possess great merits. Wealth is their reward for their kindness. Their plump and bright eyelids symbolize that. That facial feature assures they can possess a lot of wealth. And many big houses. A middle-aged woman once consulted me. She wanted to get an eyelid liposuction to reduce the fat in her eyelids. I understand she wanted to look good, but I advised her not to do it. She told me the surgery is safe. Safety isn't the only factor to be considered. I told her that how much fat is sucked out is how much wealth she would lose. And then she changed her mind. She understood. 
Full eyelids come from cultivation, they're not made. A blessed appearance shouldn't be altered with surgeries. The fourth feature is Chinese ingot-shaped ears. It must be big and have a certain thickness, that means wealth. If your earlobes are full and plump, you'll be able to find money everywhere. This ear shape symbolizes creativity. I'm talking about money-making creativity. They get help from other people as well as divine beings. That's what I was talking about. They were born to be rich. Five, garlic-shaped nose. According to ancient physiognomy, a good nose appearance attracts good fate. So the shape of your nose is also really important. Big and firm noses symbolize great blessings. Being big and firm alone doesn't make a nose garlic shaped. Big noses with exposed nostrils are often mistaken as garlic-shaped noses. But some nostrils are too exposed. The nostrils have a neat opening, just like the holes of a cut lotus root. This nose shape is similar to that of a pig's. It's less auspicious than a garlic-shaped nose. Six, and Chinese ingot-shaped mouth. Great wealth awaits those with an ingot-shaped mouth. Women with this mouth shape bring luck to their husband too. An ingot-shaped mouth is most obvious when you smile. If the corners of your mouth lift, your appearance feels auspicious. An ingot-shaped mouth also has, besides the previously features, plump lips and a clear, visible philtrum. All these make a good ingot-shaped mouth. Chinese physiognomy practitioners have guidelines to differentiate mouth sizes. They draw two lines, one on each side stretching downward from the center of the pupil. If the corners of your mouth exceed the lines, then you have a big mouth. When you close your mouth naturally, if the corners of your mouth line up with those lines, that is the best. There is a saying, a man with a big mouth has great ambition and abilities. Therefore, it's better for guys to have a big mouth. A guy with a big mouth is an ambitious guy who strives to expand his wealth. They also like socializing which helps them expand their wealth or succeed in their field of expertise. Women with a bigger mouth are the same. They're capable and strong. They can work to support their families. Instead of relying on their spouse, a woman with a big mouth and thick eyebrows will most likely end up with a weaker guy. In my physiognomy understanding, I believe that appearance alone doesn't guarantee anything. We also cannot determine everything based on one feature either. One auspicious feature doesn't guarantee a good fate. People can be rich but their lives lack some blessings. I saw a man who, people told me, was super rich. He had a scar on his face. He got disfigured probably by a car accident. Nobody wants a scar on their face. It's troublesome, his wealth could be affected. In fact, a significant disfigurement is also fated. To counter such an imperfection, 
We need to earn more merits by doing more good deeds. Practice kindness and compassion in your thoughts and actions. Contribute to society. When you set goals to become a man of compassion, you shall cause less damage to people around you. You'll even become a responsible person, or a person who makes contributions. That's how you transform your fate. That will benefit not just yourself, but also your family, and your future generations. Think long-term for the sake of your family, and your future generations. Practice kindness and compassion, and you shall be rewarded with good luck and merits. That's how you perfect your imperfect fate. This is Gene Bodhi's Physiognomy. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. Look forward to our next episode.